Howdy, partner. My name's Joe Panic. I'm a multi-genre artist from North Carolina, and I'm going to be going over exactly how to use stable audio. I've been messing with this thing a lot the past month, and I've just learned a lot how to structure prompts to make it work the best you can get it to make it. First and most important thing is understanding Stable Audio's language. In the guide, they tell you that it's best to structure the prompts with a format. You can do solo or band, depending on if you want just one instrument. So basically it goes format, instrument, genre, and then BPM. Fig. Format, instrument, genre. And then BPM if you want to. So it could be Figba. I don't know. I highly recommend using this with ChatGPT. I've got a prompt in the description of this video that basically just tells ChatGPT the language of stable audio. So that way you can tell it whatever you want. Like give me a prompt for a chill melody that I can use in a lo-fi song. And see it does the format, instrument, genre, all of that. Another thing I really like to do is fig plus random where I'll give it the genre, the format, the instruments, and all of that, and then I'll enter in some random stuff beside it. These are some experimental sounds I've got from doing stuff like that. By the way, I made a pack called the Stable Audio Sample Pack that's available in my Patreon if you want access to all of these funky sounds. My Let's say you want a little piano loop. This is a 10, and I'm gonna be changing this to Stable Audio, Audio Sparks 1, which isn't as good as 2.0, but it uses less credits. But I would always recommend selecting 2.0. So I'm gonna go over here to Chat GPT. We'll just go with this. Also, in these extras, you can add an amount of steps, which I don't fully understand. They say that it's best to keep it at 50, but I've used it anywhere from like 20 up to 100. And the thing I did notice with doing it to 100 is that the melody can sound a little choppy and robotic. You could really consider the steps like a spectrum between perfect and interesting. If you need it to be better at just doing what you want it to do, use more steps. If you want it to be more interesting and a little more random, then use less steps. So I'm just going to use 50 here. So you can choose the prompt strength, which is more for whenever you're adding audio. I'll do one of those two to show you exactly what that is. And the seed number, that's just like anything else with AI. It's, it's going to choose a random seed number by default. I just let it do a random seed number. We got format solo, so it's just gonna do the instrument piano, genre lo-fi, BPM 85. These are the descriptions it gave us. So let's generate and let's see what it did. That's not as good as what I was looking for, but that could just be because either one of these descriptions are off or it's because we're running it in 1.0. These are some lo-fi loops I made before. As you can hear, 2.0 definitely works better. One thing I've also noticed, if you use the word hop, like if you're doing the genre hip hop and you're trying to just get a synth loop or something melodic from it, it will always add drums. Hopefully that'll get fixed in the future. A lot of the times I even did the genre as trap, it'll do the same thing, but not as often as it does with hop. So to get around that, I would leave genre blank. Like let's say you wanted to do like a Kanye sampled soul type beat or something like that. You'd probably want to make the genre soul or like jazz. And now if you want to make one shots, change this to like one or two seconds. I'm going to tell chat GPT, I want a thwappy dappy heavy dubstep snare. Put that in. That might be a little too thwappy, but that's how you get one shots. I got a few good results. But really, I think this more shines in experimental sound design. Some of the kicks turned out all right. And you can also make sound effects and you can kind of throw the whole format, instrument, genre, structure out of the window. But the sound effects, all you do is you tell it exactly what sound effect you want and it makes it. Here's a car horn. Also got this ghost begging for a slice of pizza. Oh. 
This is one of those things where it looks really complicated at first, but once you just learn the bare minimum with the language that it uses, and then you give ChatGPT the prompt that I have in the description of this video, it will help out a lot. This last thing is my favorite thing to do. I call this fig plus random. Hey guys, Future Chill Panic here. I know I mentioned Fig Plus Random earlier in the video, but in this section, I actually give a live demonstration of me using it. If you don't want to see that demonstration, skip this shit, boy, or gun, or anything else. I love you. Stay safe. They say the spider's getting crazy out here, bro. Format, instrument, genre, plus random words. So let's say synth pad, that would work well, and pop. Copy and paste this, and instead of having bright, shimmering, uplifting, warm, blah, 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 just add in cat, poop, boat stuff. Igor has tea for me. I think this could actually work in a trap beat. So if there's anything I missed or anything else about this magical piece of software that you want to know about, let me know in them comments. Also, if you want the pack that I created using Stable Audio, then... Patreon.